Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Big John from Big John's Blue House. Getting uh, the second breeding knocked out between Gotti and Remy. I'm big boy. For everybody that was asking, um, you know, here today and recently and in the past of how we do AIs, how to do an AI, I wasn't going to ever make a video on it. Um, I just, just didn't care to, I guess. Um, but I guess we'll go ahead today and kind of do a little walkthrough of how we do the AIs and uh, everything like that, man. So... For everybody that was asking, I'll show you how we do them, what we use to do them, and then, uh, yeah, just go from there, I guess. Now, I know on the last video, it was nighttime, you really couldn't see, so, uh, that's why, you know, I'm glad we're doing it in daytime now a little better than nighttime, let you guys really see everything, see the dogs, um, everything that we're talking about. You know, I had one guy, uh, in the last video said he didn't understand, you know, it made no sense to him how taking Gotti to a female that didn't have flaws, the flaws that he did, how it would clean it up. So I guess I'll go ahead and touch on that topic, man. I, you know, um, like I stated in the comment, I left. I don't know who you learned dogs from before, um, but when a dog has a flaw, whether it's a high rear, you know, uh, screwed up tail, weak pasterns, weak fronts, playing the elbows, feet are not straight whatever you take that bitch like this here that doesn't have a high rear that doesn't have playing her elbows and her feet are straight you take that male <clears throat> that does have play here hold it that does have play in the elbows a little bit his rear is a little high that's how you clean up them flaws to help reassure that they do not get passed on to the puppies. That is the whole purpose and point of this breeding. We want to clean our dogs up. Now, yes, Gotti does have some flaws to him. Again, that's why we're taking him to a bitch like Remy to clean that up. Huh? I said that little weak guy only has one. I haven't found it yet, Yeah. I mean, it just, yeah. Normally, I don't reply to comments like that, but um, I felt like I needed to touch on that subject and that topic for this uh specific subscriber um you know that's that's how you're supposed to breed dogs um again you know i don't know who you learned dogs from but set it on the internet <laughs> I, I don't know what man i mean a lot of these people you know just come out of the woodworks and just want to say that's what I mean. Say, say things, and I mean, it just, it is what it is, man. Um, you know, we prove people wrong. Every time we turn around, it's nothing new to us. But go ahead. I'm going to start this AI, and I'm going to show you guys um, just a little walkthrough of what, you know, what we do and how we do it. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. I'm not saying it's the... 100% correct way to do it. I'm just going to show you how we do things and we've never I've never missed an AI on the way I do it. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out Okay for The syringe and the tubing I like to use a flexible tube the reason this being is because by chance if the female decides to freak out spin twist anything 
this flexible tube is not going to harm her. The reason I started using the flexible tubing, I had a buddy that was using the harder plastic tubing, bitch freaked out, snapped the tube off inside of her. Um, my buddy went into a panic and for about 20 minutes was fishing out a plastic tube out of the inside of his female. Um, so that's why I started using the flexible rubber tubing. Now, when you're going to pull off your boy, back in here, back, you'll feel a little knot back here. What you do is make sure the skin's pulled all the way back and apply a little pressure back here. And that's going to cause the dog to knot up and start to ejaculate. What you do after that is you make sure you catch the semen inside of your bag. What we like to do is hold the dog for five to 10 minutes. And then after that, we start to inseminate the female. Go ahead and pull off Gotti real quick. Get this out of the way. As soon as I get ready to inseminate Remy, I'll get back to you guys. All right, after you pull off the dog, you set up. This is how we do it. Again, this is how we do it. This is how I do it. I'm not saying everybody should do it this way. I'm not saying you have to do it this way. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it. This is just the way we do it and have been doing it for years. So after you pull off the male, get him situated and taken care of, then you start to bring in the female. Now, what you can do, um, my partner, he went and lit himself a cigarette. Um, I guess that's what you do after you you pull off real quick. You dig? I'm gonna help you out, dude. I'm I know you're gonna. He, he's gonna. He's gonna help me. He's gonna help me. He's gonna help me. Um, and you know, the cigarette is optional for you as well. Um, if you got a good partner, he would offer you a cigarette. I, I gave the dog water first. Yeah, he would offer you a cigarette. You know, sitting there ten minutes holding on the dog. Hey, I got you a really nice chair. <clears> and then, you know, gonna inseminate his female. He would offer you one. You know what I'm saying? Why well, you're gonna be sitting here? With your with his females, you know, uh, whole backside in your face. So you're just situated. Now this is gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna go ahead and get after it. Grab this. Yep. You see? We use this right here. You definitely want to make sure the female is lubed up. You know, it's, it's not your high school prom date, you know what I'm saying? It's a dog. You got to make sure she's boobed up. Move her tail to the side. Again, this is why we use the rubber tubing. Put your finger up in there. Follow the finger. You have to go up and then in. Make sure everything's good, how it's supposed to be. Pinch the tube. As you're pulling it out, Pull away from you. And you're done. Pause it. Now after you do the AI um, on the female, people like to say, oh man, you know, leave her up in the air 10, 15 minutes, whatever. The longest I hold a female is probably a minute. I allow the male to go right back to her, sniffing on her, and that helps her get her, you know, contracting and everything. Um, and then right after that, we put her up. But yeah, again, you know, it's not an in-tune, in-depth way. 
that I just showed you guys how to do the artificial insemination. You know, um, it's just how we've always done it, man. And it's always worked. And I guess the amount of AIs that we do will depend on the female that we have. If that female is, um, this is the second one. This is day four of her being inside of her heat. Normally we'll hit three AIs or depending again how long she's flagging and she keeps flagging we will ai her until she's done flagging but you know go ahead and give a huge shout out to all the subscribers new and old all the likes shares comments followers all the love that we get and continue to get we have what is today today is today's the eighth right okay so we have two days before hunting season and um then it's it's hunting videos. Gotti's coming out, Capone's coming out, Savage is coming out, Hooch is coming out. Separate. Yeah, we're gonna run Gotti separate from Savage at first, just to see how he goes, man. Cause again, Gotti is our asshole, so we don't want him to uh, get overly excited. The gentleman that was asking about uh, the hunting videos and how I train my dogs, the one that's got the XLs. Get a hold of me, bro. 815-632-9073. I'll break everything down for you, man. But again, huge shout out to you guys, man. As always, take care. God bless. Stay safe. Gotti. Hey.